Hello everybody and welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. It's been a minute. I know, I know. Life, do you understand me? Life is what's kept me away. You know how sometimes it's not always what's going on in your life. Sometimes it's what's going on in other people's lives around you that you love and care about. And sometimes you have to be there for them and that's what keeps you from doing things that you want to do. But it's okay. I will drop in when I can. As you know, this is not a job for me. This is fun, right? So I'm not making money. It doesn't matter about brand deals. So I can come and go. Just make sure you like and subscribe. So what I've been up to, I've been up to praying for others, praying for myself, just making sure that what's important to me is family and friends. And, and coming back up here is wonderful because now I can get back to being creative. So I'm just gonna bring you a quick video. I'm gonna show you some ideas that I put together for work attire when you have a little fupa. And for those who don't know what a fupa is, it is that belly part after you have kids that just won't go away that's in the bottom of your stomach. That's where my problem is. And so I like to come up with ideas to show others who may have a stomach or a fupa. And we're working on it, guys. We know we're working on it, but we need to work it while we're working on it. Make sense? So I have some looks. I'm not going to keep you. Let me go through them. The first look, even though I have it undone, I have it unbuttoned. You can wear it unbuttoned. Now, how I would wear this, and you see me styling it here, how I would wear it to work is like this. So I will have it closed up. Look at the beautiful details of this shirt. Is this not summer? Summer and, and just vacation and still workwear. So you gotta have stuff that's versatile, right? So I will put this on with a little pink um, halter and these pants and have this shirt open if I was going somewhere other than work or with a pair of biker shorts and a little shirt. And this, cute, nothing but cute. So uh, this whole outfit is thrifted. The whole outfit you're looking at costs me less than $15. And I can wear it to work. I can make all types of outfits with it. Um, the shirt is by Diane Gilman, so it is probably, well, it's not vintage, I could tell by the tag, but you could tell it's like one of those boutiques, right? And the pants, the pants are by Boohoo. So they're just a straight, uh, nice work pair of pants. Uh, not too long, just good for me. I'm 5'3", and so they work out perfectly. The second look, I'm gonna save my last look because that's my favorite. Uh, the second look is, this shirt is 100% silk. This is a vintage shirt. And I'm playing on the cream and black in the shirt. And it does have pieces of red in it. But what I'm doing is I'm playing with it with these beautiful, beautiful pants that I got from H&M. And the leopard, I've been waiting for a nice, flowy, comfortable leopard pair of pants. So how would I wear this to work versus vacation? Maybe I'll do that next time. How I would style it at work and then how I would style it if I was on vacation or going out at home. So maybe I'll do that next time. I just thought of that, that that's really good. So they're wide leg and I believe they're still at H&M, but you see I played with the cream and the black and I put it together and I put on a pair of red pumps to bring in the red out of the shirt. So yes, the only thing wrong with these guys, the only thing, they have no pockets. And stuff without pockets is kind of hard. Third look is this 
thrifted cropped blazer. It's like a blazer shirt. Um, look at the beautiful colors. Let me take it off the hanger. Look at the beautiful colors in the blazer. And to make it look more summery, um, you could put it on with a crop top as well. Um, and look at the back. It's the details for me. Look at the details of this blazer. And it has the gold going down the lapel as well. This is also a vintage blazer. Look at the button. This is thrifted. Let me show you the button. And that is metal. So yes. And of course, it's got the shoulders and the chin. So this is another one that you can get. It's really, really sturdy and thick and it is really good. Matter of fact, it reminds me of Zara, but you say, you know they say Zara and Shein might be the same. And I paired it with these wide leg Zara high-waisted, and you can see they are very high-waisted, high-waisted pants, and they are wide as well. These I had to get hemmed because they were so long but I wanted them the only thing I don't like is the fact of they kind of feel like they tight against not tight though I can't say tight they feel like they rise up between the legs and I have a when it gets fall I have a blazer that match perfectly and I wear it more as a suit or if I want to go in the office and I do want to put on a suit I wouldn't put that shirt on with it but you can wear this as I have it to where I can wear it as a suit as well so that is a great look too um this crop Casper vintage blazer that already has a little ruched um sleeves quarter length sleeves, which I don't really like quarter length sleeves, but sometimes it looks better than rolling up sleeves on the blazer. And of course, it's got the shoulders and it is also made to fit tailored. So this was thrifted along with this shirt. This is a, thrift, a thrifted CD petites and look at this shirt it has little diamonds uh not real diamonds little uh embellishments in it and it's london so it's got london and all the little uh sites you can see in london if you look really closely and it is just so beautiful with the red and the blue and the black. And I just thought when I saw this for $2 at the thrift store, I just thought this is just too cute. It is so adorable. And one that I got from a live sale. And these are from, let me see if I can tell you who they're from. I can't see it. I can't see it, but they are... Um, vintage and th they're thick around the uh, the waist the band is really thick so it fits really well and if these pants feel so good and they so well made and then at the bottom you have this red lighter red and then the white stripe and it just makes it look so relaxed and casual but I dressed it up with the shirt in the in the blazer. So, but I can wear this by itself with that shirt and make it even more casual. Once again, it has no pockets though, but this is great material. It feels good. This I can wear winter, fall. In Florida, I can wear these winter, fall, spring, summer. Cause it's all one to favorite.
first let me show you the pants and then I'm gonna talk about this shirt this color is gorgeous it's a lighter lime green a true lime green and it is best um, New York and Company, 7th Avenue, you know when we used to go in there and buy clothes, when the buyers actually bought really nice material that lasts. I stopped going to New York and Company when they stopped making clothes that last and it was, the material was not good, but I think it's gone back to a different buyer now because I'm seeing a lot of clothes uh, from New York and company now that look pretty good. So the material and their clothes, they got a nice buyer again. So go check them back out. But you can find a lot of their good material clothes in the thrift store, which I found these for $2 in the thrift store. This is, and you can see by the intricate design, this is a vintage Dolce & Gabbana shirt. It, look at the, it's just the way they designed their shirts. Look at, you can see that everything was made to, to match up completely. And you can tell the, the stitching, like this white stitching that's going through the shirt is on both sides. You think it's, wait, is something wrong? No, that is the way they stitch their shirt. And the beautiful design is on the lapel and the back, and it's just gorgeous. So what you do is you look for shirts that you can wear that you don't tuck in when you got a stomach or a fupa, but you still want to look nice. Because, you know, it used to be if you had a stomach, you had to wear big stuff, and you had to wear stuff that you like, I just need to wear this to hide my stomach. But it's so many beautiful shirts out there that you can get, that you get it just a little oversized, but still look nice, that it don't look like you're wearing somebody else's clothes. And you see, I didn't tuck any of this stuff in. All of this stuff is made and worn just the way I want to, to hide my stomach or my fupa or whatever you want that you not, comfortable with about your stomach and it still looks stylish you put on you some pumps and do your hair and put you just a tiny bit of makeup on if the, for those who like to wear makeup and you go to work and you like what fupa honey don't matter what fupa i am looking so cute and each one of them outfits does the job some stuff you can wear just wear flowy dresses if you wear Floyd dresses like this one I have on, here's the picture. You can hide a fupa as long as you, it's when you try to make it either too big or too tight. Cause you know, people be hung up on my size, my size. I gotta wear my size. When you shop vintage or thrift store, you better go up two sizes and don't think about that my size is the way it looks and flows on your body. So, I hope y'all like this, me reintroducing myself to you because I've been gone so long that you come back. And what I'm gonna do is when I go somewhere and do some, I vlog it. When I'm just showing you fashion, as always, I'll just show you fashion. But the only thing I'm gonna change is next week I'm gonna talk about what am I doing so that when I pray for others, I can be prayed up and it works. Because if you don't believe or if you don't if you don't follow God's uh, path, if you don't follow God's teachings, then you praying for somebody else is not working and nobody wants no prayer from anybody who has any other devious undertones or really not praying for that person like they should. I'm going to tell you what fills me up, and it is not going to a physical church. So we're going to talk about that next week. But I just wanted to come up here and say, hi, guys. I'm back. I hope you enjoyed this show. Tell me which look you like, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.